This is not your average beef stir fry. This is super tender and glossy and oh, just check that out. And beautiful spicy Korean flavors too. What more could you ask for? Okay, so there can be so many things wrong with a beef stir fry. The beef is tough, the beef is dry, the beef is unappealing, not tasty, all those things. Uh, but we're gonna fix all of those problems for you uh, with a few little tips and tricks. So let's have a look at the beef first and I'm using ribeye. I love this cut because it has a mixture of both fat and meat and fat means flavor my friends, which I love. But you could use a strip loin as well. Rump steak is really good for stir frying as well. Um, what else? Scotch fillet is good. Well, scotch fillet is the same as ribeye depending on where you are. Uh, but anyway, so all those things. But what I like to do with any cut of steak that it is, is slice it on the diagonal. So doing that thins out your strip of beef and it also means that your pieces of beef will go a little bit further so we can get a few more strips out of them. Now the thin slice is also crucial for maintaining a really beautiful tender piece of beef at the end as well. Now the other really crucial part for this beef stir fry is the marinade. It's not only gonna add flavor, but this is what we're gonna use to tenderize the beef as well. So I'm gonna start off with some Korean gochujang chili paste. This is a fermented chili paste. It has loads of umami flavor, some saltiness, and a little bit of heat as well. And to that, I'm gonna add some soy sauce and some finely chopped spring onions. So that's the flavor part. Now we're into the texture ingredients. So first of all, some corn flour. It's also known as corn starch in the US in case you guys are a bit confused. This will help to thicken up the marinade and create like a really glossy film on the outside of the beef that gives you that beautiful, soft, silky texture. Now this next ingredient is baking soda. And this one is all about the browning and the tenderization. So this will lower the pH of the sauce the marinade which then will encourage faster browning which means our beef cooks quicker in the wok and stays nice and juicy and now we're going to add our beef now you really got to get in here with your hands guys i want to make sure that every little strip of beef is coated in that beautiful marinade and your fingers are the best utensil for that so now the stir fry sauce really simple just some oyster sauce soy sauce a little bit of beef stock here you could just use some water to thin it out, but the beef stock's gonna add a little bit of extra flavor as well. And then a little dash of dark soy sauce, just for a bit of color. And then some rice vinegar and some sugar. Okay, so now we're at the sizzling part, always my favorite bit. We want a really nice hot wok or a very large frying pan and add in some oil, garlic, some onion, Now add in that beef. Now spread that beef out because I want the maximum amount of heat on the surface area of as much beef as possible. Leave that for about a minute or so and then toss it through. Straight away you can see we've already got some beautiful color on that beef. And then another 30 seconds to get a little bit of color. Now when your beef looks almost cooked, you wanna add in some strips of carrot. And then some kimchi. I love this. It adds tangy funkiness to this stir fry. And now the sauce. And now you can see everything has turned magically glossy, shiny. Just wanna to toss through some spring onions. And now I'm gonna turn the heat off because I always like to add my sesame oil at the end. So saving that till the end means we're gonna get a really bright, fresh sesame flavor. A lot of the time you can lose some of that flavor if you add it at the beginning. Now while that beef is piping hot, you wanna get it straight out to eat. And then a final little sprinkling of sesame seeds. Oh, and if that doesn't look good enough to eat, look at that shiny beef. Wow. The first thing that hits you is that beautiful, spicy, funky kind of kimchi sauce. And then that beef just melts. It literally just melts. Mm. It's really yum. <laughs>
If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys. Boot.